Hello, Blood Talk fans. Last week we talked about ABO discrepancy. It was getting really long and overwhelmed, so I break it down into discrepancy from the forward type, which was previous week video. Today we will continue on the subject ABO discrepancy, but we will be focusing on the reverse type, which come from the antibody in serum or plasma. I will also include timestamp in the description box down below as usual, so you can refer to it at any time. Without further ado, let us all click the like button, share, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell. Once again, a discrepancy exists when the results of red blood cell test and the serum test do not agree. This can cause from either unexpected positive or unexpected negative. Serums or reverse type is not as expected. If the reverse reaction is weak or absent, can be due to following reasons. First, newborn. Even though the ABO antibody are naturally occurring antibody, but the productions of A antibody and B antibody is not detectable until about the age of 3 to 6 months. Second, elderly. As the patient age, the antibody productions can decrease and it can decrease to the level that it cannot be detected in the patient's serum or plasma. Third, illness. Some illness can cause decreased productions of antibody such as leukemia or lymphoma. Fourth, ABO subgroup. We have an entire video dedicated to ABO subgroup so you can go watch that at the end of this video. I have some suggestions in how you can solve the problems when you have an ABO discrepancy. However, keep in mind that you have to follow your workplace procedures and policy when approaching ABO discrepancy. First, repeat the test, making sure that the reaction you got is reproducible and there's no technical error in the process. Believe you and me, we can solve many problems by simply repeat the test. Things happen, maybe you get distracted, or maybe the tubes weren't labeled correctly, maybe someone switched the reagent, who knows what happened, just repeat the test. Second, get to know your patient, get patient history, because that can help you determine the root cause of weak reactions or missing reactions in the reverse typing. Third, if the patients produce less antibody, we can give some time for the antigen and antibody to react to each other before centrifuge. By incubating for 15 to 30 minutes at room temperature, that doesn't solve the problems. We can try to incubate it at 4 degrees Celsius for 15 to 30 minutes. Fourth, co-antibodies, which include anti-I, anti-H, anti-M, anti-N, and type P and Lewis. We can do a few things to try to solve this problem. We can perform grouping using pre warm technique or break the IgM bonds using 2-ME. Lulo. Yes, this is the same reasons as for red blood cell discrepancy. A good indication that we are dealing with Lulo is when we have a stronger immediate spin and a weaker reaction at 37 degree, with no agglutinations at Coombe phase. Lulo caused by increased amount of protein in the serums. We can solve this problem by performed saline replacement. This will remove the excess proteins and allow the reagent cells to react with patient serum without protein interference. 6. Bombay Phenotype This is rare but very interesting. I may make a video about this at a later time. This patient produced anti-A, anti-B, anti-A, B, and anti-H. We can solve this problem by testing the patient serums with anti-H lactin. No agglutinations because the patient with Bombay phenotype does not have an H antigen, which is a precursor structure for A and B antigen. Without each antigen, 
no A or B antigen can express regardless of ABO genotype. Thank you for staying with me until the end. What do you want to know next? Do you want to know more about blood bank, chemistry, or microbiology? If you have any burning questions, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Lastly, if you have not done so, please like, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell. I will see you in the next episode of Blood Talk. Happy learning, my fellow blood bankers! As always, remember, your blood tells you the story of your health. Thanks for watching. Bye!